will take over. That's Bubba Parham. Transfer out of the Southern Conference. Already a steal or a kneel. In demand, but at the moment they're in their matchup zone. This is an Arkansas team that likes to take the ball inside off the drive, and the zone is designed to stop that. With mid-range jumper air ball and Georgia Tech. Bill Covington is trying to set the ground rules. I'm sure we have a fair contest throughout the rest of the way. Shot clock winding down to seven. Moses Wright hits the save it. Does to Parham. Frantically, Georgia Tech keeps possession. Moore tried to get it to Banks, forced a little bit. Turnover. And when Arkansas gets a turnover, they want to go. And they do. Jones for three. Off the back iron. Sills with the rebound. He'll get it back out to Jones. Now the Razorbacks will set up Joe. There's Mason Jones. Sills got up in the air. He's able to get it to Witt. Shot clock winding down here. Two to shoot. Witt gets it. Can linger all year long, and they need Jose Alvarado at 100%. Moore hits one of two. The lead is two for the Jackets. Matchup zone defense. You've got to be able to get the ball inside. Or fire for three. Okay, Mason Jones. Three pointers for Arkansas. Well, Mason Jones is a very, very good three. Giving Banks a few minutes. Try to get it into right. Defended nicely. Well, he threw that into a crowd. Joe again from three point range. Jones will look to settle it down a little bit for Arkansas. Here's Jalen Harris in the starting five for much of last year. Now the sixth man off the bench. Jones for three. He nails it. Moore got the foul called against him, the Jackets. Inside Cheney, nifty little pass. Now back outside the Joe from the corner. All active shooting, so the Jackets will take it out of bounds. Right, DeVoe has that really nice change of pace kind of dribble. Banks, they've really converged on him down. High level shooter, but he hadn't shot the ball well so far. They're really hoping that he can break out. They'd like it to be tonight. Here's that zone defense again. Jones tries to penetrate. Now puts up a three off balance. Can't get it to go. Big board by Cheney. Outside. Witt now guarding DeVoe. Coming off the screen. Price trying to go over the top of the zone. Cole was lucky to get it back. He drives and gets the buck. That game will be decided Friday night, Virginia and Virginia Tech. Jones trying to drive, just intimidated by Banks. Couldn't get anything going down low. Now gets it back outside. Sills. There's Witt. That's in his wheel. Turnover here. Easy bucket for Mason Jones. It'll come to you. If he steps to the ball, that's a foul. Instead, it's a turnover and a basket. Low skip pass. Moore for three. Two minutes. Right, that has allowed Arkansas to erase a little bit of a yellow jacket lead. Good pass. Now Joe for three. Nails it. Rebound by right, here come the Jackets. DeVoe drives the back. Foul. In there very much, and he has missed a couple of times in this first half. DeVoe really looking to drive, and a little out of control there. I was looking to drive it, but I thought that he was driving to pass that time, and nobody got in position. Converted those 11 turnovers into 13 points. That's helped them forge the seven-point lead. Banks down low. Great position. Of traffic in there. Jones got his defender airborne. Now he gets tripped up. Plays Moses right. Now DeVoe's got to be careful. Generally, you can protect somebody a little bit better in a zone than you can a man to man. In this contest, down just three. Jones with DeVoe on him. Drives the lane, gets it to win underneath, back up top to Sills. He'll try for three. Can't hit. The guy you want shooting the three, he's now one for nine on the season. You know, if you have Mason Jones and Joe out there, 
think you'd rather have them give three-point attempt of the night, and he misses. Jones, nice job by Sills cutting to the basket. About a 14-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Mason Jones barking out orders. In the corner to Silla. He was open. Banks with the... Georgia Tech stays in that matchup zone. Sills now tries to drive it in the corner. Jones tries to drive, but he's just Jose Alvarado, Georgia Tech's starting point guard, who hurt his ankle in the first game. Can't go tonight. Parham, nice job of driving and getting it back to right. Now in the corner, but it's blocked. Parham gets it back, put up the floater. Bailey. You know, if he'd have pulled down on that arm, he'd have gotten called for a hook and hold. Banks misses his first free throw attempt of the night. Put his bucket inside, cut the Arkansas lead to four. That's Bailey, tries to drive it on Banks, he shuts him off. Nice job by Banks, moving his feet. With a little bit of an advantage here. Jones drives, gets the ball knocked away by Parham. Push him out just a little bit, just far enough to force him to miss that hook shot. Nice look that time to Bailey. Get the inbounds. Parham temporarily loses it, but gets it back. I have a shot clock running down now. We tend to shoot. DeVoe on whip. Gets into the paint. Misses the bucket, though, on the turnaround. Shot, that's his range. I thought uh, the last time they had the ball, he was reluctant to shoot it, but not that time. Here's another turnover. By Georgia Tech and a Oh, but Moses Wright standing there waiting for the ball to come to him. And then at the end of that play, Michael DeVoe looked a little yeah. winded too. Arkansas really keeping the pressure off. Bank short on. Jones from way outside off the back iron. Cole from outside, no go. Moore with the great board and put back. Clock winding down, and it's going to be a turnover. Here come the Razorbacks, and a beautiful play by De Cheney inside. Joe, can he quiet the crowd? Good look to Witt. He just uses his pivot foot and just drops a very nice bounce pass to Evan Cole. Jones on the baseline. What a move. <laughs> with, with inside points and second chance points, which you would expect because mm -hmm. of their size. And you see James Banks with the light blue shoes on the far end of the key. See, he's got Cheney battling with him. DeVoe now. I'm sure Josh Pastor and his staff trying to figure out a way to get him going. He walked. He can watch the ball from the bench. Banks is just so tough to drive that baseline. Loose ball. Joe, open for three. Just off the mark. Bailey's. I'm in the shot clock. He's forced to shoot that one and whip blocks. There, and oh, wow. Isaiah Joe have done a nice job tonight, but throughout the season, when they need a bucket, this is where they go. Whit off the back. Desi challenges Banks and gets the basket. That's a pretty good play by Bailey. A lot of contact. There's a technical foul called on Josh Passner, so that's a class A or unsporting technical. So that's two shots. And now, this is very confusing. I'm glad you took inventory of all that. So the basket's good. They get one shot. So essentially, it could be a five-point trip here for Arkansas. And it is. More 
Tries to shut down Joe on the baseline and does so. Seven to shoot for Jones. Step back deep three. They're going to say travel. travel. Yeah, he really forced that one. Arkansas doing a great job getting back on defense. They surrounded him. That was really a force. But DeVoe has been asked to do an awful lot tonight. Again, it bears saying that Jose Alvarado hasn't played at all. Jones has time off the mark. Fans on their feet here at McCamish. Sills, great pass down low. Wow. It's beyond the arc. Well, the Arkansas defense has been all over him. Obviously, when you're the leading scorer in the ACC, you lose the element of surprise. <laughs> so Arkansas has been all over him. Jones pitching it out there at the, on the free throw line. But if you're the Razorbacks, you're really comfortable having this guy at the line. Yeah, this time of the tip. Jones with to solve that by going straight at Banks. No call. Vos hands. Ten to shoot. Arkansas is going to get it back. Five to shoot. At the buzzer, couldn't get it to go. That was Khalid. Was just leaving him alone to try to double yeah. team Banks inside. And if the Razorbacks are going to do that, you really have to make them pay for it. Now Joe from the corner. He can't get at the rebound. Boy, they have gone cold oh. beyond the arc. Reason. Banks, nobody got down to defend him. All the way, you don't dump it off at that point. It was much too close to the basket to try to make that pass. The most got to be careful out there. Jones driving. Joe over the top. DeVoe step back off the back iron. You know, you get the impression this is either team taking or Georgia Tech not taking good shots. Arkansas has had some wide open threes. Haven't been able to get them to go. There's a charge. Offensive call against DeVoe on Bailey. Cole works the baseline. Can't get that bucket to go. Tough time in there tonight because he's been surrounded. That time it was one on one, a good pass, and that's a basket. Jones on DeVoe. And that's five. Back there, that's a foul in today's game. It's mm. a one and one. So not only does DeVoe go to the bench, you have one of the best free throw shooters in the country at the line. In and oh out. Good. Moses Wright, who's had a really quiet game back in for Georgia Tech. He's open down low. Oh, the pass, pass is over the head. Again, that's twice in a row now. They've had a big guy who was open inside if they just get him the ball. Bailey tried to get it to Jones. Georgia Tech's first lead in the game since it was 14 to 13. Now to Joe. That's what you do. You get out there. Don't let Joe beat you with a three. Jones for three. And, and he banks, banks it in. in. Crazy play. I mean, Georgia Tech can't guard him any better. Clock up at the top of your screen. And the ball goes through the basket right now as that ball comes out of the net. It's not when the ball goes in the basket. It's when the ball comes out of the net. I don't know if they're going to add any no, more No, they're time. not. I think that's the right play. The yeah. ball comes out of the net at point one. 